Hello everyone, I am Rona A. Banyas from Abusan del Sur, Philippines. The study is about morphological awareness of graduate students in Caraga region. SU of 2015 found that most of the students have low abilities in word morphology, low amount of vocabulary, around 2,000 vocabularies each student. The morphological awareness and the vocabularies of students with high academic achievement were superior to the general one, and that there is definitely high relevance between the morphological awareness and the vocabulary knowledge. The study of Al Farse of 2008 also examined the relationship between morphological awareness and vocabulary size in Omani EFL learners. The results indicate that the students' overall morphological awareness and vocabulary size were limited and that a relationship between the two constructs could not be established owing to the appearance of the floor effect and test scores and test difficulty. Many vocabulary researchers and studies indicate that understanding the language learners' morphological awareness can not only enhance their vocabulary acquisition, but obviously raise the number of the vocabularies during their study. However, according to the survey of Chow 2002, Lee 1995, the vocabularies of the students are low. Locally, secondary schools in Tandag City Division of the Department of Education in the Philippines for school year 2017-2018 revealed in its consolidated post-ORPT that 36% of the learners are under independent level and the same percentage of 36 also fall under instructional level while 27% fall under the frustration level. 2 key concepts of morphological awareness were studied, analytic and synthetic word formation. Analytic word formation refers to breaking down words into its meaningful components. In contrast, synthetic word formation refers to bringing the smallest pieces or the morphemes together to form words, and this is according to Arnop and Fudiman of 2005 and Al Farse of 2008. The participants of the study are grade 8 learners of Caraga region. This is in the Philippines, specifically from Agusan Lusur National High School, Buena Vista National High School, and Asento P. Alpa National High School in the school year 2018-2019. 45 learners were selected, 15 from each school whose age ranges from 13 to 14. The first language of all the participants is Tandaganan for schools from Tandag City Division and Manobo for the participants from Agusan Resort National High School and 29 of the participants are ladies while 16 are gentlemen. To answer the study's questions of morphological awareness, a widely used test is adapted to the purpose of the study. Morphological tests with its subtest, analysis, and synthesis. In this study, the participants are given a set of complex words out of context and are asked to segment them into as many smaller meanings as they can identify in each word. The words are decontextualized to control for the possible effect of context in guessing the meaning of words. The morphemes are neutral in the sense that they neither cause phonological and orthographical change nor stress assignment changes in the stem. The students are then asked to give the meanings in English of the morphemes they could identify. The students are asked to write the meanings of the chunks either in English. The participants are presented with a frame sentence that contains the usage of the target morpheme and then asked to complete another sentence. It is expected that the participants use the frame sentence to complete the next sentence. Each morpheme in a test item receives one point. The total points of the morphological structure test is 35 points, representing the maximum number of possible morphemes the student could give as a response to the test items. Procedures 
Permission to carry out the research was first obtained from the Department of Education, Tandag City Division, and Agusan del Sur Division through Caraga Regional Office, as well as the school heads of the three schools as the research local. Permission was also obtained from the Graduate Studies Dean to the Professor of the Course Advanced Morphosyntax of English. The teacher researchers on their part informed the students about the study and asked for their consent and clarified that their participation would not affect their academic grades. Student consent was then obtained. The students who agreed to join the project were grouped per school for a lecture briefing to conduct the study. The session lasted for two hours. The researchers introduced themselves and the nature of the study. The researchers asked the students to read the study information letter for about 10 minutes. The information letter was presented in both mother tongue and English. Any queries about the test, research, and results were answered after reading the letter. First, the morphological awareness test with two parts of the analysis and synthesis was administered. Finally, the research material packets were collected in an envelope. For the data analysis, this study is a quantitative, hence descriptive statistics was used. Mean and standard deviation are used to summarize the result of the morpheme identification test and morphological structure test. To answer the research question concerning the degree of the student's morphological knowledge, experiments raw is run on the data obtained from the morpheme identification test and the morphological structure test. The direction and the strength of the relationship between students' scores and the analytic aspects and synthetic aspects are sought. The alpha level is set at 0.05. For the results of this study, the students score better in the morpheme identification test, which is 73.54%, than they do in the morphological structure test, which is 53.37%. The morpheme identification test, the highest score is 33, while the lowest is 8 for the morphological structure test. The scores are ranging from 0 to negative 32. The scores of eight students exhibit a floor effect in this section. The overall mean score of the morphological awareness test is 42.11 out of 68 with a considerable dispersion among the results, which is an SD of 11.68, which indicates that the students have intermediate awareness of word formation rules. To gain more insights in the students' morphological knowledge and how the students deal with complex words, the knowledge of inflectional derivational effects and stems are sought. To reiterate, the total number of morphemes are 3 inflectional and 13 derivational and 17 stems in the analysis section and 9 inflectional, 3 derivational and 23 stems in the synthesis section. Table 1. The average percentage of the students' scores or the standard deviation in inflectional effects, derivational effects, and stems both analysis and synthesis sections of morphological awareness test. Let us discuss this one further in the next slide. The students score better in the inflectional effects in both the analysis sections, which is 63% with an SD of 1.12 and the synthesis section 50% with an ST of 2.75 than the two with the derivational effects of 59.15% with an ST of 3.45 in the analysis section, 46.33 with an ST of 1.10 in the synthesis section. Given that the student's ultimate performance is found on the stems, 87.11% with an ST of 2.90 in the analysis section, 57.65% in the SD with 7.61 in the synthesis section.
Looking at figure 1 and comparing means and standard deviations, a negative skew distribution of morphological awareness is spotted. There is room for only little over one standard deviation of 13.94 above the mean, or which is 42.11. Most studies of morphological awareness have focused exclusively in inflected morphology in younger children or exclusively on the revisional morphology in older children. However, in order to understand morphological awareness as a broader construct, it is important to incorporate both inflected and derived morphology within a single study. Few studies with older children have incorporated words with inflected endings because knowledge of inflectional morphology is mastered by the early elementary school years. This is according to Teghe and Binder of 2015. In addition, morphological awareness has been found to be a strong of redactor of a single word reading with children across a wide range of grades. This is according to Wade Woolley and Geekon of 2009. Singson et al. of 2010 found that morphological awareness contributed uniquely to reading abilities. For third through sixth graders, over and above phonological awareness and receptive vocabulary knowledge. The current study investigated accuracy and response times and morphologically complex words embedded in a passage, as well as morphologically complex words in a single word recognition test. In addition, because morphological awareness has been found to be a strong predictor of both reading comprehension and single word decoding, the present study looked at the contribution of morphological awareness over and above the contributions of decoding and phonological awareness to reading comprehension. The findings demonstrate that the students' overall morphological awareness is somewhat low, 66%, with a considerable variation among the results. This highlights the students' limited abilities to reflect and manipulate the morphological structure of words. The students in the present study are not able to recognize the morphological structure of complex words. From the perspective of cross-linguistic variation, English morphology might have hindered the students from reading and understanding English complex words. Unable to appreciate the separability of bases from affixes, the students encode an unfamiliar English complex words as a whole, and therefore, they could not unlock the meanings of newly encountered complex words. In addition, synthesis requires more advanced skills in analysis according to Bloom's taxonomy and their cognitive domain. The analytic aspect of morphological awareness is subsequent to synthetic aspects this is according to Arnoff and Fudiman of 2005 and Mac Pichang et al. of 2005. Taking this fact all together with the student's linguistic level in the present study can explicate students' lower performance in the synthesizing morphological structure. Thank you. Have a nice day to all of us.